<laughs> Music is a big part of our everyday lives. <laughs> it's the language of everyone. And love it or hate it, pop is a very big portion of it. You can hear it anywhere. But there are lots of people who don't like it, even refuse to listen to it, saying it's too simple, too dumb, not real music. That nothing could ever reach the levels of beauty and complexity of, for example, classical. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but I'm just going to admit up front that I used to be one of those people. I'm not ashamed of it. I've been learning how to play classical piano since I was five, and that's most of what I really listened to when I was younger. But I've got to say, I've changed my mind. There's a reason pop's poppin'. <laughs> 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 It's a unique and complicated music genre um, that somehow manages to strike a chord in millions of parts at one time. <laughs> Ever since I got a phone and thus control over my music taste, I've been quite obsessed with finding new music to listen to, love, and memorize the lyrics to. But, um, yeah, that was back in grade 7. And <laughs> over these years, I've gone through so many artists and genres, from hard rock to electronic to Billy Joel. <laughs> but for almost a year, my constant hunt for music has mostly been centered on new music, most of which is pop. So when I had to do this project, I figured I've combined two of my favorite things, pop and piano playing. It would be fun. Uh, um, I figured, that, yeah, I decided that I would write my own sing-along piano music for my favorite pop songs. It would be fun and easy, because pop only uses four chords anyways, right? <laughs> well, I don't know if it was just my song choice, but I was dead wrong. Okay, it was a lot of fun, but I should have known that with my limited knowledge of theory and no experience at transposing, um, it wouldn't be a piece of cake. <laughs> I did three songs, up to the chorus, and it turns out pop is actually comparable to classical music. Um, my piano teacher always tells me that to understand a piece, I need to listen to all the voices in it. Of course, there's the main or usually top voice, which is what everyone hears, what you would hum out loud. When I was five, there was only a top voice. But as I played more and leveled up to more complex music, the pieces started having multiple voices and layers. Uh, there's the main voice, and then there's about three or four other harmonies and counter melodies in the background that no one really hears or pays attention to, unless you like that sort of thing. <laughs> um, Um, when I started transcribing, 
Um, I went. Did I catch something? <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, I went for the, the melody first. It was the easiest thing to hear. So I, I listened and I tried and wrote it down. It was very inefficient. But that's not the point. Because of my stubbornness, I was determined to do it all by ear and without help. So I got down the melody. The first song I did was Lemon by Ken Yes, it's J-pop. I was so happy about having written down some music. But then I got to the hard part. As I listened for the subtle undertones and finicky little counter melodies, um, I actually giggled out loud whenever I got something right. I could never get it completely right, but I couldn't help starting to notice the similarities between pop and classical. There's the main melody, then there's the little melodies underneath. I started to appreciate it more as I tried to analyze it the way I would analyze classical. And it got me thinking, what else was the same? Why do classical and other sorts of snobs consider their music to be so much better than pop? Well, <laughs> so far, I can only think of similarities. Uh, they, were both, they both appealed to large groups of people, made to please others, and as many as possible. Old classical composers like Mozart and Beethoven made money by writing songs specifically for rich people. <laughs> so, why is pop somehow worse? Why is classical considered an art and pop isn't? People focus too much on lyrics, and it's often the first thing to be criticized in pop. But as I listened carefully to these songs over and over, I fell in love with them more somehow to how the music was put together. because it's formulaic. And yes, it's a genre that was created to um, please as many people as possible. So there is some math and science that helps with achieving that. But it's so much more than just math and science. I used to think that pop was just silly, catchy music, kind of effortless. But I do believe pop has soul. I consider it an art. So listen, next time if you hear a song on the radio and you go to switch the channel just because it's pop, maybe wait. Push away your prejudices. Open your ears. Make sure that you're not cutting off the possibility of finding a new pop just because it's in the genre of pop. <laughs>